Hello and welcome to another episode of Around the World in 8 Minutes. Today we take a look at the protest in India against the divisive and controversial citizenship law and the issue of release of political prisoners. We also report on the anti-femicide protest in Mexico and the protest by indigenous peoples in Ecuador. On Monday, hundreds joined the protest demonstration called by the Students' Union of Jawaharlal Nehru University at Delhi's Jantar Mantar. The demonstration was part of the larger protest against the Controversial Citizenship Amendment Act, or the CAA, which was recently passed by the far-right Indian government. The protesters also condemned the arrest of various anti-CAA protesters under the Draconian Sedition Law and the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act or the UAPA. According to the legislation's critics, CAA along with the proposed National Register of Citizens or NRC is a ploy by Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janata Party to attack the secular ethos of the Indian constitution. We at the People's Dispatch spoke to some of the protesters. The JNUSU called for a protest march from the uh, Mandi House to the Parliament today, uh, seeing the current NRC, CA, NPR laws that have been brought and we uh, think that these laws are the draconian laws that is going to divide people in this country on the basis of religion and the government, the specifically the RSS and BJP is trying their level best to communalize the whole country on the name of Hindu Muslim at this moment, in the name of a uh, systemic genocide of the Muslim community. जेनुएसु की तरफ से आज का ये जो मार्च है वो इसीलिए बुलाया गया ताकि हम ये बात को एसर्ट कर सके कि सीए एनआरसी एनपीआर के खिलाफ हम हैं हम अपना आवाज रख रहे हैं और जितने भी लोग इस कानून के खिलाफ अपना आवाज रख रहे हैं उसको जिस तरीके से दबाने की कोशिश की जा रही है जिस तरीके से उन पर सेडिशन यूएपीए एनए से जैसा लॉ लगाया जा रहा है उसके विरोध में हम खड़े हैं चाहे वो काफिल खान हो चाहे वो सरजील इमाम हो चाहे हम अखिल गोगोई हो कोई भी हो हमसे हमारा उनसे मतभेद हो सकता है लेकिन उनको बोलने का हक है उनको सी ए एन आर सी एन पी आर के खिलाफ प्रदर्शन करने का हक है इस हक को जिस तरीके से सरकार छीन रही है जिस तरीके से वो जनता को बोल रही है कि आपको प्रोटेस्ट करने का अधिकार नहीं है हम सरकार को ये बोलना चाहते हैं कि आप फिर से एक बार संविधान पढ़िए संविधान हमें ये हक देता है कि हम अपना प्रदर्शन कर सकते हैं आपको मानना है नहीं मानना है वो आपके ऊपर है लेकिन हमें प्रोटेस्ट करने का अधिकार है और इसी चीज को हम यहाँ the sedition law and the UAP as with the sedition law is a colonial law which came into the Indian Penal Code quite years ago and what the JNU Students Union uh, believes that such kind of laws were used by the Britishers to crush the dissenting voices then uh, during the colonial era and exactly the BJP and the RSS and time and again many governments have used it but specifically now in this era the BJP and the RSS is using this law against the Muslims against the political dissenting voice specifically the Muslims uh, to crush their uh, voices to crush their dissent and in this democracy. Meanwhile, a similar protest was organized by students, farmers and workers in Malar Kotla in the North Indian state of Punjab on Sunday. Thousands of people organized the protest and pledged to fight against the CAA till the government repeals it. In Mexico, on February 15, hundreds of residents in Tijuana marched to protest violence against women on Saturday after 25-year-old Ingrid Escamilla was stabbed to death a week ago. Protesters held candles and signs demanding the government to take action against the femicide as they rallied in the River Zone area just four miles away from the U.S. border. The killing of Escamilla has sparked outrage and prompted several protests across the country after the image of the women's mutilated body appeared on front pages of a number of media outlets. Last year, in August, with the slogan of They don't look after me, they rape me, thousands of women took to the streets in Mexico City and other cities across Mexico against gender-based violence and demanded justice for all its victims. 
The mobilization was triggered by the surfacing of several cases of rape in the capital committed by police officers, one of the victims being a minor. Feminists in the country have been outraged with the seeming indifference on the part of the state and its institutions to take measures to prevent violence against women and LGBTQ plus people. Such cases have drawn public attention to the fact that security agencies entrusted by the state to protect and serve the people are the ones inflicting such violence on them. An average of 10 women are killed in Mexico every day with the number reaching 3,825 victims in 2019. In our last story for this episode, we take a look at the protest of indigenous communities in Ecuador. On February 13, dozens of members of the indigenous communities of Kofan and Waurani demonstrated in front of the headquarters of the Constitutional Court of Ecuador in Quito, demanding that the court combines a series of cases that these groups have won so it establishes a legal precedent. In August 2019, the Warani community received an unprecedented victory in a lawsuit against three government bodies for conducting a faulty consultation process with the community before putting their territory up for sale in an international oil auction. Similarly, in 2018, Kofan people won a landmark legal battle to protect the headwaters of the Aguarico River, one of the Ecuador's largest and most important rivers and nullify 52 mining concessions that had been granted by the government in violation of the Kofan's right to consent. According to Ecuador's 2008 constitution, in order to carry out any type of extractive activity in an indigenous territory prior to consultations with the resident of indigenous communities must take place. We hear from some of the protesters who were in front of the constitutional courts. That's all we have for today's episode of Around the World in 8 Minutes. For more such stories, follow us on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. And also visit our website at www.peoplesdispatch.org. Thank you.